Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just want to thank you this morning. Thank you for the finisher's anointing. Thank you for the finisher's anointing. Oh, Father, we just bless your holy name. Glorious God, beautiful King. Oh, eternal King of glory, we worship you, Lord. Oh, Sika Masoko Tore Masika Tababa Baraka Shende Boske Rebo Sende Rebo. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we just want to thank you this morning. We have come to return uh, Thanksgiving. We have come to honor you. We've come to uh, rejoice. Father, we thank you. Oh, Rabasukata Mahanda Baba 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 Yebu Sekete Baba 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 Lebu Sekete Riba Sakata Nakamusa Kata Handaya. Oh, we thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Who is glad? Who is rejoicing? Who is ready for the future, which is in our now? Let's just begin to thank God, everyone, wherever you are. Glorious God. Let's just begin to pull on the glory of this day. The finishers anointed. The grace to finish. The grace to finish stronger. The grace to finish well. The grace to proceed. The grace to advance. The grace to enter in. The grace to break out. The grace to break forth. Father, we just want to thank you. Oh my God. We made it. We made it. Musakata, Lesia Masa, we made it. Hallelujah, we made it. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Father. Lebro Kosekete. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. And Christ will reign through you and I forever and ever. Amen. Kalibo Sekete Mahandai. So, Father, we just want to thank you for today. Father, we have gathered again at the altar of remembrance and settlement. We want to thank you, O oh God, for all that you have appointed for today, O oh God. Oh, Holy Spirit, we want to thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Ancient of Days, O oh God. Father, we just want to thank you for the finisher's anointing. We want to thank you, O oh God, for entrusting us with a great assignment. We want to thank you that every end is a beginning. We want to thank you for what is beginning, what is starting, what is emanating, what is emerging. Virgin. We want to thank you, O God, for the things, O God, that are coming forth, that are breaking out, O God. We want to thank you, O God, for a new dawn, O God, upon us, O God. We want to thank you. We are, O God, so thankful, so grateful. Father, Lord, O God, and so hopeful. Marika Sikata, we are so hopeful. We are so hopeful. Kali, we're so expectant. Malabusa Katahandaya. Oh, Skira Mashundo Bosendeba. Blessed be your holy name, O God. Blessed be your holy name, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know if anyone is just as excited as I am. 
Oh, Maria Casica to hand up. I don't know if anyone is as, as excited as I am. La Broco Sokoto Mahanda Broca. God is the beginning and He's the end. Hallelujah. Monde Basuka to hand up. Broco Sekete in the year. Libasa Kata Nambroco Sekete. I don't know who is as excited as I am. We are in uh, at the final day of this particular assignment. And um, I want to just invite the spirit of God. I'm going to read our, um, let me call it framing scripture. I love that word frame. It's such a, an apostolic word. It's such a word that God's given us for a time, you know, um, this hour, this hour of the church. Mm, I, I, I just want to, frame today i don't know who's as excited and as expectant as i am kiss kahanda baba let's just begin to receive new songs new songs oh maraba sukatara i just i i'm just seeing scriptures emblazoned you know just right before us scriptures emblazoned before us i'm seeing isaiah 40 its substance i'm seeing isaiah 60 its substance i'm seeing micah 4 its substance i'm seeing isaiah 2 its substance i'm seeing hosea 4 6 its substance i'm just seeing habakkuk 2 14 its substance halakabusa i'm just seeing substance of hallelujah 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 somebody just reach out and grab a word scriptures scriptures you know i said to us that we are in a, a a rich season we are in a very very a season that is full term in pregnancy so what's that fullness you know of time we are in a, a season i mean if that's even how to describe you know what we're in and I, I know that we're in the dispensation of the fullness of times but within that we are in a pocket of time we're in a season libra casacata where we're gonna see scriptures you know <laughs> scriptures fulfilled right before us hallelujah and people are not going to ask where god is because they would see that the, the scripture the word of god its substance they will see it in reality hallelujah it's just amazing and exciting where the church you know has come into so when i say church i'm talking about the ecclesia i'm talking about the called out ones i'm talking about god's judiciary i'm talking about god's you know uh faithful ones i'm talking i mean about the sent sent ones hallelujah oh my i don't know if someone is as excited as i am oh my god Oh, for 31 days we have we have we have just been at the altar of remembrance and settlement and um what is so exciting i'm still going to give you our our framing scripture and today we just throw open our agenda our expectations we're bringing it all on the cross the blood we are submitted all to the lord and we're saying let it be your blueprint that we leave this altar with your master plan just as you ordained it so if i have your um uh what will i say if we, if we have if I have your agreement okay i'd like to be really open to the holy spirit I want to decrease so that he will increase in me hallelujah we just want what God has for us. I I'm filled with joy. Kalibo Sokoto, Rebo Sekete. We just received incredible finishers anointing. We're finishing strong and we are finishing uh -huh. well. Remember that whatever it is you believe you have not prayed about, you know, the stuff you think you have not brought before God are things that have already been, the issues that have already been resolved. You know, Jesus resolved these issues at the cross. We're just out here to execute judgment. And I love when, you know, um, God speaks through the prophet Isaiah that before you called, you know, I heard me while you were still speaking, I answered. And I mean, you just think about that, that this is Isaiah, the Old Testament prophet, you know, speaking this. So you and I, 
imagine that that promise, you know, is secured. Jesus said, this is the cup, you know, of the, of the new covenant that is in my blood, the new covenant that is in my blood. So you can imagine if that promise, okay, from Isaiah 65 verse 24, take it through the cross. <laughs> it, it just, it just confirms what, you know, the writer of Hebrews reminds us, I love the word of God. I'm sure you figured that out. You know, I love the word of God. That's the only time that you are allowed, you know, to boast. So, you know, it, it, it tells you that by two immutable things, Hebrews 6, 18, by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor, <laughs> this hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil where the forerunner has entered for us, even Jesus, having become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Can someone get excited and just shout hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Our framing text this morning, Kurama Sirama. I just have even so many framing texts. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. I'm so expectant. Hallelujah. Kuraka Sirahanda Baba. Yoko sira mahanda ya basuru kusita mahanda basika tarama shuto mahanda ba. Raise Do you know we have officially become a danger to the enemy? You've officially become a danger to familiar spirits. That you have your name cannot, cannot. No satanic altar. No satanic kila masuka ta kira kasakata. Sacrifice can be offered on any altar whether visible or invisible, in the water, on the ground, in the firmament, not, not, not created order can respond to the instruction of any sorcerer, any prognosticator, any necromancer, uh, any voodoo doctor, any witch doctor, any satanic you know, priest, they will not be able to mention your name. They would. Because Isaiah 54 verse 17 assures you that no weapon formed against you will prosper. The tongues that rise in judgment against you already condemned. So you're going to have to practice your priesthood continuously, decreeing every morning that every tongue that mentions you for evil is condemned. When you get up in the morning, you just go through your checklist. The tongues are condemned. Any satanic counsel. So any person making decisions that do not line up with the scroll of your life, he says it will not stand. Isaiah 8 verse 10. This is why you need the word. Where we're going, it will not stand. You have a checklist. So are they going to speak by words? It won't stand. Are they going to do it by technology, by telephone, by WhatsApp, by whatever? You scatter their communication. You take them to, you take the enemy, you execute the judgment on uh, Psalm 74, verse 14. Leviathan, the principality that reads communication, information. So you, 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 you'd remind, before you go to work, you don't want to be going to work and having all that drama. You are carrying the kingdom. So you post, uh, uh, come first September, you are a totally different man, a different woman. Kaliba Sakata, the kingdom of God inside of you has to be expressed. So you've got to have your checklist. You have to go back, you know, like a, 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 a kindergarten kid. You know, God sorted out the generation. So you're not going to tell me you are under a generational curse and, you know, go to work and, and just be thrown out of work just the way that everybody in your family has been thrown out of work. That's not for you. Kilama Siraka, you have been restored to the place of your priesthood authority okay it authority la basakada by that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for god to lie we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us do you understand what i'm saying 
hope set before us hallelujah we have come out this morning to give god thanksgiving if it is your first time joining us listen you can appropriate every benefit that we've all received you don't have to labor hallelujah you we you are a beneficiary of promises that are immutable 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 so we have gone through 31 days of preparation because we are going to have uh, nine years of ruling and reigning okay and it's going to increase the decade after that it's going to increase and our children will not have to go through patterns of migraine and menstrual issues and all these different things that have gone on in the generations hallelujah familiar spirits ancestral spirits the spirits that are, are in hades and show waiting for the day of the final trumpet the day of judgment they're not going to be called out by evil uh men and women okay the spirits you know the demonic spirits work through humans no one's ever met them just as the spirit of god that is inside of you and i as the children of god is in us to administrate the will of god and in us to inspire us to up, upgrade and upscale our thinking so we understand what we are to do per time per time okay so i i will frame today with second corinthians chapter 2 and i'm going to major on verses 11 and 12 before i do that like i said just get, just 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 bear with me i get very excited with the word of of god i just want to i just want you to 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 leave this altar with just thanksgiving understanding that you know it is impossible to stop you only you can stop yourself hallelujah i i began the online experience i'm having right now with you know uh, a promise i made to the lord that if he would take me safely you know through covid infected territories you know and look land me where i ought to be I said, God, I'll do whatever you want. And it was, go tell my people, go tell my people what I said, you're going to speak. Uh, uh, God told me last year, and I said it all on six. I'm going to give you some things to speak. And you will speak to some nations, but you won't be able to speak from, you know, uh, a particular nation. Okay. So God knows there are some nations that the contention, you know, of the demonic kingdom is so much. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light are just literally moving apart. And that's what happened in the day that um, uh, Israel it was faced with the mockery of Philistine. You know, they had their champion, their game changer, Goliath. Now, if you read the story, um, I don't know if someone is excited. I'm giving you. So as I give you the, don't even just thank God. Don't say, God, I decree and declare Goliath will not. Just say, God, I thank you that every Goliath in my, in my life before my family has been leveled. Every mountain has been brought down. Just begin to thank God for that. Just thank God. So as I read the scriptures appropriately, just know how to cash and put in your, your, your eight your cash uh card put in not the credit card because you know that's wiped out remember i said to you one of the broadcasts i don't know i'm just full of what to say you have deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 2 blessing it's called the lord's release you can receive that right now it says every seven years there shall be a release those that you know you owe will just forgive you it's a debt cancellation and those you know who owe you will speedily come to pay you back it's called the lord's release can someone receive deuteronomy 15 blessing right now because the lord said to us i'm giving you the first seven months of 2020 in the eighth month so we can prophetically pull the blessing is number seven isn't it no seven is god's number for perfection i don't know I, you, you can you can feel god here and you can feel my excitement to pull out all the different blessings you know so that when we live here we're really so loaded hallelujah there's no room to remember what the enemy ever said to you kalima sokoto remember can someone who who who, who really needs some cash? Who needs some money? Who, who needs some money? Who needs some, you know, a, a forgiveness of debts? You know, Jesus already did that. So the, the, the Deuteronomy 15 uh, promise is a picture 
of what Jesus already, you know, did for us at the cross. So I want to just, you know, speak that in there. As the scriptures come, I'm just going to be speaking them. We're here to um, to appropriate benefits, benefits of the of the of the blood, and some of these Old Testament uh, promises. Okay, we're putting them through the blood because God says these are the days. This is the decade of fulfillment of prophecies, fulfillment of prophecies. So, uh, why what, what, why God is blessing you? What is God doing with us? What has He done in 31 days? Why has God called us out to this particular? The assignment is altar of settlement. And remember, do you know what that means? God remembers you and he settles your case. Settling is God's verdict, God being reinstituted, God's, you know, word being reinstituted into your situation and god's word is the final authority as the writer of hebrew begins to say i want to just read that that blessing to us and it says you will live in homes you did not build can somebody appropriate that you will live in homes i mean i grew up strong i was very influenced by papa hagen and Kenneth Copeland and, and, and people like that, you know, the faith movement as i was also very much influenced by the, uh, the by the um prayer movement, uh, you know, led by Peter Wagner and people like that. I was influenced by great men and women. And I'm let, I'm not letting them down by not standing by what I was taught. Hallelujah. We've been in a decade of placidity and the Lord has come and says, arise, shine for your light has come. The glory of God is risen upon you. If someone is arising, they raise their right hand to heaven and say, God, I'm not going back where I come from. I don't need the pomegranates of Egypt. I don't Need the pomegranates of Egypt. I'm new creation. Marika Sakata, Reskote Mahandaba. I'm of the nation of priests who call on you, and I see the, the effect. I see, you know, the results. I see the answers in manifestation. Marika Sakata. At the end of every seven years, you shall grant a release of debts. <laughs> Jesus, with his blood, wiped out every handwriting of requirement that was against you and I. Can someone receive? release from debt can someone begin to receive a blessing of debt cancellation miracle of debt cancellation miracle and can that person begin to receive a blueprint for financial discipline marita sakata financial discipline can someone begin to say god yeah masika i received your blueprint for financial discipline for responsibility with handling money kila masikata even access to courses and trainings that help me manage your wealth because i know that the cattle on a thousand hills belong to you i, I want to read that blessing because if we're dealing with if we're receiving seven months I'm, i want to work with number seven i want to push caleb heaven god i want to move the right hand of god when you get that testimony please uh, make sure you send me a message hallelujah at the end of every seven years you shall grant a debt release and this is the form of the release this is the form. deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 1 i'm going to verse 2 he says this is the form of the release every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it he shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother because it is called the Lord's release. I didn't make this up. It's in the it's in the Bible. I didn't make it up. Hallelujah. And I would inspire the Holy Spirit to, to declare that over us. That there's going to be brotherly love. Marika, don't worry about it. How they're going to forgive you that debt and what's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Just go by faith and don't pray soulish prayers. Just say, God, let your love cover the earth. Marika, Sika, God. I harvest the words of Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 1 and, and verses 1 and 2. Remember, the Bible says the knowledge of the glory of God will cover the earth as the waters cover the seas. And the 31 days has been about God restoring the authority of our priesthood. God called, giving us strategy and giving us insight that it is time that we redog the wells of our fathers. And what does that mean? That there's wealth in our family lines. There are good things in our family lines. 
because everyone to the third and fourth generation could not have hated God. And he made it clear in Exodus chapter 20, verse 5, that the, the sins of the fathers will be judged by, by God himself, not you and I. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. You and I as new creation are not even begin, supposed to be uh, praying vengeance. We execute, you know, the judgments of God, but vengeance belongs to God. So do not pray for anyone to die. You've got to be praying for them to leave because, I mean, can you imagine if they were living to see death canceled, living to see you, living in homes you did not build? That is really awesome. <laughs> so it says, you know, everyone who owes you will will speedily come to pay you and those that you owe will forgive you can someone begin to harvest that word speaking all over the earth that the love of god will come just say lord i establish the promise of deuteronomy chapter 15 verses 1 and 2 i release it across the earth Kilamasikata. you know the earth is groaning is groaning is groaning to bring forth maria Kasikata. so let it bring forth the word of god and let it not bring forth you know humanism and secularism let it not bring bring forth you know a uh, doctrine of demons let it bring forth the word of god can someone begin to speak into wealth issues i receive generational wealth malika basu could i receive generational wealth don't forget that we're redigging the wealth of the fathers even though we're going into our bloodline and it's it's our bloodline our ancestry god will also give us the good of our spiritual lineage hence it is important that we understand alignment so we know who our spiritual, you know, covers her. We know who our spiritual, you know, Rima Sikata, Hia Masakata, Lesko fathers and mothers and influencers are because when it comes to a time of harvest, God is only going to give you what is in your ancestry. So you can imagine if you just were never in any, any ministry genealogy, how you're going to get your blessing. So I pray for a revelation. Can someone say, God elevate me to the place of revelation? Can you begin to receive? see that hallelujah so i take you back you know to hebrews you know again and i want to say to you and i'm going to be reminding you all every single um uh, time that the spirit of god moves me that you know i will remind you of what the writer of hebrews says that by two immutable things in whom it, in which it is impossible for God to lie. God cannot lie. Can someone decree that God cannot lie? God cannot lie. Hallelujah. God cannot lie. So I, I will take you very quickly to, I will frame the morning with, um, oh my God, I, I, I just feel so much glory, so much glory, so much glory. I, I, I'm just getting a picture of a windmill and it hadn't been turning and suddenly it's hit by, you know, the winds and it's turning. The it's turning someone say it's turning it's turning it's turning it's turning for my good it's turning for my good hallelujah it's turning there is a turning there is a turning 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 maraka issues have been settled just by roots issue was settled at midnight and boaz there was boaz root issues are being settled issues are being settled hallelujah hallelujah Hall we're buying back time uh, buying back time we're redeeming time ephesians 5 and verse 16 tells us that but the pre previous verse verse 15 tells us that we should be circumspect and wise someone just begin to say god i thank you for the grace to be circumspect if you're gonna be dealing with the world systems you have to embrace ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 and 16 you have to harvest you know have you got your um atm have you got your 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 cards have you got your cash cards have you got them spiritual prophetic you just just move your hand like you are cashing out something we need to cash out killer massacre that i promise labor i'm going to be circumspect i'm going to be wise because the enemy shall not out with me can some can we make that a prayer i'm going to be circumspect i receive grace to be circumspect i receive grace to be wise the enemy shall not out with me psalm 89 verse 22 i stand on psalm 89 verse 22 and i decree that in this hour the enemy shall not outwit me hallelujah because with the key of the house of david you have locked out the previous ways that he blindsided you that he tripped you up killer massacre emotionally 
physically and you lost your job because he tripped you up you lost your job because you know he came in the in the usual route the route with which he he used he 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 set up your father he set up your grandfather he set up your great grandfather and you see that it's a male line curse every male in your family has had the same issues well it broke it broke at the altar of settlement and remembrance because a priest rose in that family line and said enough already. A priest understood by the books like Daniel that the time had come for the desolation and decimation and devastation, kirak and destruction and despair in that ancestry, in your ancestry has come to an end. Your eschatology has to be victorious. When you look at the future, you have to have hope. Hope deferred has been broken. Cycles of delay and postponement broken. Oh, Masikata. I want to plug my broadcast on Saturday and I really want to invite you all to come. I was just thinking, God, what am I going to do in September? And you know what the Lord he gave me a really exciting title. He said, I want you to deal with breaking cycles of stolen glory. <laughs> the devil is in trouble. Can someone say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. When I had a revelation of, of, of that, you know, decree from the Bible, I just stopped to speak to Satan with too many words. I just said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Can someone say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. God says, September, breaking cycles of stolen glory. The enemy is just, is just in trouble. So Saturdays, um, 6 p.m., uh, West African time, 1 p.m. EST time where I am. It's, it's, it's amazing. We're going to break cycles of stolen glory. We're going to understand what that is all about. Joseph, his father, made him a coat of many colors. He caused and created a lot of problems. And that put him, Makiraka, they tried to alter his glory. But you know what? It took a process, but he got there. You're going to get there. So let's just go very quickly to 1 Corinthians, you know, chapter 2. I'm going to read it out. Mali, oh my God, there's so much glory. Can someone just continue to praise the Lord? Remember, remember by two immutable things, two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. God cannot lie. Someone just keep decreeing that God cannot lie. Whom he has set free is free indeed. Malika Basakata. Remember, remember our word for these 31 days is Genesis 26 and Genesis 21, the story of Abraham and Isaac, generational blessings. They all lied. Both of them lied in the territory, in the territory of Abimelech. I don't know who this person is, but God is taking me to show you that when the enemy, the enemy is going to come at you when we're done. He's going to come at you when we're done. But I want you to, uh, um, the Lord is sending me back to, to show you a scripture. There is just something about this morning that God wants people to get hold of the word of God because every end is a beginning. Hallelujah. Don't you wish we could just go on for another hundred days? <laughs> I would wish that we do, but we've got to bring this assignment to an end. And if the Lord will give us another, then we go. But we've got to be able to say amen, trusting in the Lord. We have to look back like God. Remember, you know, again, part of, if you don't know, part of our mandate, part of our hope, the promise of God for us is, is, is um, in, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. So it's a promise, you know, of entering into the Lord's rest. So by the time you say amen, it's a new you. You're going to be functioning from the place of rest and no longer from the place of stress. So when those stress um, situation and stress point is hit, you're going to say, no, I'm not going to react to you. Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. So, okay. So he's going to come with a lie. He's He's going to try to bring back the past that's been locked away. Guess what you're going to say to him? Because you already know the verdict is already stated in Colossians chapter 2. But you can take him to the psalm. The psalm is going to be, uh, the book of Psalms is going to be very, very important and significant for us believers. The song of Solomon as well. Le broko sekete. God wants us to fall in love with him again. You know, <laughs> and you're going to have to study one John. You know, just study, do a word study on love, the love of God. Okay. And then just love as a fruit as well. Please don't 
don't leave any gap after we say amen we're praying please study love you know ask god for fresh revelation of his love the father's love so where you have not had love um where you've not had love of the father where you've not had love of natural fathers because i see some on the line god is dealing with that as the at this altar of remembrance today there are some here just as there are some here the enemy is gonna lie to you all right i have some great testimonies myself here and they 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 would not they would be what you would term as impossible but they became possible in these 31 days okay so i want you to hold on to your testimony i want you to hold on to what the experiences you're going to have the next 12 months have been locked down for you as months of glory and experiencing the impossible what has been written as impossible and you're going to be the first one in your in your family line that ever experienced it if you doubt this please just find me anywhere you can find Find me, and I'm going to get a lot of the testimonies, and I know that this is the Father speaking. So, if you have never, if you've had issues, or you didn't know your dad, or you know you come through a divorce, or you know just issues around your biological father, there is a, 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 a grace coming down to heal the the heart, the, uh, a soul wound right now, and uh, the, the the and uh, please study you know, the father's love and, and study love. All right. And there is fresh revelation coming, you know, to heal those wounds, the father's love, and it's going to be okay. And we're going to understand that we came through this earth. You know, we came to this earth through family lines, biological family lines, but they're not the end of all. We're going to go back to where we came from. And that's, what's going to matter where we go at the end of the day. Okay. So I just want to just pray, Father, for everyone, oh God, under the sound of my voice, who has not known the love of biological fathers, and that you are releasing anointing, you're balming Gilead, you are the healer. Lord, oh God, every area of wound, every area of rejection. Father, every area, oh God, of insecurity, those inner fears, and oh God, those, you know, those areas of the heart where, you know, wounds are being carried, abusive fathers, father, absent fathers, okay, that, you know, it has it has become a, 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 an issue, and, and it's created problems of of being able to love you father lord we just unlock oh god a season father of the flooding oh god of our hearts the father's love father of receiving again maria kasakata fresh revelation of the father's love father's love rebo sikata thank you Father, for answered prayers in Jesus' name. So some of you, the enemy is going to come with lies. It's going to come to challenge what God's done. Here's what, here's your answer for him, okay? You don't, you, you don't want to take him to Colossians chapter 2. You take him to Psalm 32. It's very powerful. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. And in whose spirit there is no deceit. It's incredible. It's incredible. All right. Now, if the enemy tries again to come to shoot you in the foot, you have to, you know, remind yourself. And this is an instruction. Remember, I said this decade is going to be a decade of instructions. Can someone begin to pray right now? Let's go go where at an altar of thanksgiving and you know what a father will do a father will give final instructions you saw how moses blessed kiraba sukata and you saw how jacob blessed his children and the words that were spoken into their lives are the words that you know uh that the blessings became the blessings of the tribe, even till today, right, right now. The tribe that is linked to the Hebraic months where in Elul is the tribe of God. And if you listen, you know, if you read the blessing of Jacob and God, you know, you see that these are crossover people. So most of us that are out here, we're crossover people. We're carrying crossover anointing. And, and they're foreigners. The tribe of God, they're foreigners. That's the tribe that crossed the Jordan when it overflowed its, its banks. 
Hila Masuka. They were part of Mo, um, David's mighty army. You need to read about these guys in 1 Chronicles uh, chapter 12. I mean, we talk about Isaka and we all get very excited about it. You need to. I love my very first book ever. My very first writing ever was on the tribe of God. These are fearless warriors. You can't get to a place of destiny without a Gadite in your life. Gadites come and they take you. They serve you, okay, selflessly because they are people that get to their destiny before others. They are forerunners, okay? They are forerunners. They get a place of fulfillment and then they can cross everybody else. Somebody said, God, I received the Gadite anointing, right? Someone begin to receive the Gadite anointing, the anointing of the tribe of God. Hallelujah. The anointing of the tribe of God. So even though the Bible doesn't say that Simon was a, the fisherman was a Gadite, but you could just imagine if that fisherman was not revived by Jesus Christ, then there wouldn't have been wealth, you know, uh, 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 transfer and wealth, you know, or wealth creation in his territory. He had packed up his boat. He'd washed his net. He, need, he was packing up because, you know, he didn't get anything that day. But a nevertheless word came. Nevertheless, what is God saying to you? This is an altar of settlement. It's an altar of remembrance. Someone say, Lord, I want to thank you for remembering me and my bloodline. I want to thank you for setting apart time to favor me and my bloodline. I want to thank you. Psalm 102 verse 13 gives us that assured hope that there is a time, there is a set time to favor Zion. Hallelujah. 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 Zion's blessings are not on low plains. Zion's blessings are in heavenly places. And Zion knows how to bring down the blessings of God. Obadiah 15 says that. Maria Kasukata Mahanga Baba. Do not pray prayers about your enemies because they are already the day of the Lord. Where we're in is a day of recompense. You just break the curses everything that they have put in the way, okay? They're being blown up. They've been blown up, blown out of, you know, out of the way, blown into smithereens by the power of the finished work of the cross that we have, you know, uh, we have believed in here by the power of the word of God, by the power of the believer's authority and by the power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Four incredible weapons that we have deployed and we have got testimonies every single day. Can someone begin to shout, you know, and praise the Lord. I'm still trying to frame the body that it's almost ended. So gosh, I love that scripture again. Remember when the enemy comes, let him know blessed is a man who God does not impute iniquity. Isn't that crazy? You know, so I'm not saying go sin, please. Jesus said, go and sin no more. But can you imagine, you need the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 11 says, how can a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed of the Lord of God? When you take heed, he says, I heed his word in my heart so I will not sin against him. So the word is powerful. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will endure forever. Can someone just begin to say, Lord, I want to thank you for the revival of your word in my heart. I want to thank you for awakening me, Kali Basikata, to the weapon of your word. Can someone begin to thank God? Remember, we're here to give him thanks. We're here to give him thanks. Hallelujah. We're here to give him thanks. Do you know, as we're giving him thanks, I was going to, you know, talk about our Syrian issues, but join me on Saturday for breaking, you know, cycles of stolen glory. We are here to give God thanks. Even as Syrian issues are taken care of, we are free. I'm telling you, people have keys to nations. I just have had this picture for uh, for, for some time and I've, I've resisted calling out names, but you know, the nation Aruba, I'm just... I just keep seeing this red fish everywhere. I just keep seeing this ship. You know, I talked about ship that had been sunken, but this ancient ship is like it's our, on, on the shore. I, I, and there's just going to be such an economic revival from that land, Aruba.
honestly, like never seen before. And I just have to say it for days, you know, and um, I see you, my sister from Aruba. I mean, you are going into a new level of empowerment of the Lord to declare his glory over your nation. So you just receive that in Jesus mighty name. So I was going to take us to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. So I'm not going to read it, but I want us to understand that here in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, maybe I should read that so that I just want us to understand, to frame it, to set in order, as we know here. Uh, and, and it says, for what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. So someone just say, Holy Spirit. Just repair that, 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 that honor track with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I just want to thank you for your indwelling presence in me. You have to believe that you are okay for the Holy Spirit to dwell in you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Please take back your residence. That's your, the, or your take back that your, your body as the residence of the Holy Spirit, the habitation of the Holy Spirit. And just say, Holy Spirit, I open up to you to receive your instruction, your direction, your inspiration, your rebuke. Can someone begin to really thank God for the ministry of the Holy Spirit, ministry of the Holy Spirit, ministry of the Holy Spirit. I shared on this broadcast, on this prayer, you know, uh, altar about my relationship with the Holy Spirit. Can you please thank God for the ministry of the Holy Spirit? Can you recognize the Holy Spirit inside of you when you become one with the Holy Spirit that is inside of you? Listen, you know, no, no weapon and you, you're not even going to think of the weapons you understand the holy spirit will direct you will lead you and this is your passport for sonship okay as the world opens up remember the lord is opening up the world because you asked him to open up the world as you go into your various spheres the holy spirit inside of you will direct you here is the way go ye in it so Kalibo soro kosira bashira basikata mahanda broko sekete riskoria handa boskere bosikata rabo sekete mahanda bababa. I hear the Lord say, release sisterly love, release sisterly love. God wants to do something about women in the in women and through women, but God says, release sisterly love. God wants women to know how to love women again. Women to love women again. So can we please, can you join me at this altar of settlement? Okay, let's just pray for women, whether you're a man, you're a woman, or oh, is it God I release, you know, the revelation we receive. I stand in the gap and I receive fresh revelation of sisterly love, sisterhood. God is bringing down to the earth realm. Something is going to happen with women. Suddenly women are going to love one another in the God type of way. And mistrust and jealousies and competitions and rivalries will be a thing of the past. Can we receive that for the earth? Can we receive that? Can we receive that? Rebo Segeda, women would trust them themselves again. You can truly have a sister again. Rebroko Sekede competition, rivalry, all of that is, is gone. Marebo Sirakas, can God flush that out in our bloodlines, in our society? Can we, Jesus girls, can we sons of God, Kirabada, Jesus girls, can we be those that are used to fill the earth with the knowledge of God's glory when it comes to sisterly love? Maraka Siraba Shukata, Yemo Sekede the Bible says, esteem others better than yourself. Can we come into that new day? Can we judge tongues? Tongues that, you know, Leviathan tongues, tongues that, that speak words, that separate destinies, that separate purposes. Can we just begin to say, God, because we come out of those things in our family line. So now we're judges. We are the ecclesia. We're taking our positions as the ecclesia. Jesus says, ecclesia here, as you function, he said the gates of hell will not prevail against you. So the gates, gates of hell will never win against you. So when you call out familiar spirits to say, listen, you, you, you foul spirit of poverty, I curse you. Boom. You will be chained until the day of judgment. So you send it right back to the, to the back queue in hell. You don't let it come out to, 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 to inspire any person to, to reap destinies by the words that they speak. Let's just bless the Lord. Okay. So 
as Paul says to the saints, he says, only the spirit of God, you know, knows the things of God. Okay. Only the spirit of God knows the things of God. Guys, we're coming into an era of intelligent thinking, application, implementation. Okay. Sons of God, the people, sons of God, the ecclesia, you are a forerunner. God has to be able to trust you to give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That's the next level authority to be able to fill the earth and replenish it. The culture mandate, Genesis 1 28, fill the earth and replenish it. So where there is devastation, you bring you know, heaven's di um, um, perspective, heaven's dimension, heaven's, you know, level, heaven's, you know, way of doing things, heaven's pattern. It comes from the mind the inspired. So that is why you have to put a shield over your mind. You're not going to listen to information that is not edifying. You're going to protect your mind. That is a place we're protecting this decade in the name of Jesus. Can someone just begin to shout glory? Let's get excited. Glory, 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 glory. God wants the attention. October, we're going to dedicate to praying for America. September, we're dedicating to praying for Nigeria. There are nations like humans that must come into their purpose. We're not going to you're not even going to consider them as nations of your birth. You have officially come into the kingdom of God. You carry the passport of that of God's kingdom. So for instance, Nigeria, from tomorrow 1st to the 30th of September, we're calling it Project 720. Every hand that claims nations, every satanic hand, and the ordinance by which they claim the nations Hira Masakata, we execute judgment. We uh, do you know <laughs> do you know why God is giving us the key of authority to determine what happens in nations? Because we have been sorted out. Can someone say, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name? Can someone begin to bless the Lord? Can remember, Kerebo Sikete, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Maro Kosikata, Rebro Kosikete, Hima Sakata, someone bless the Lord. Kira Masakata, command your soul to bless the Lord. And listen, as when we say amen, we are not, you know, kind of, our relationship is not breaking. You and I, Western partners, we are in this place together. Hallelujah. So when the Lord gives us another assignment, I don't want to be looking for you. Karaba. I, your testimony should, and my testimony connects us. Hallelujah. Someone bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Remember, the Lord just asked me to remind you. Abraham lied. Isaac lied. Do you know what Psalm 32? Blessed is a man who sin is covered. Isaac got up. He said, Lord, there is good in my family. I need the good in my family. God has released his goodness to you. Hallelujah. He said, I need to redeem those wells that my father dog carried And when he dug three, listen, there was Egyptian, there was really, uh, there was a uh, quarrels. You know, the Philistines, they quarreled, they stopped the well. But you know, they thought it was about the three, but it was about the fourth dimension. Do you know what the fourth dimension is? Fourth dimension is the dimension of faith. It's just a cruising you know, altitude where, you know, you just put your vehicle on drive. There is no stress. The rest of the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing that that promise is located in a chapter four as well? <laughs> Verse one. So you just put your vehicle from gear one to four drive, auto drive. So we are in an auto drive time. Hallelujah. Because all things have been made perfect in Christ and all his promises in him are yes. In him they are amen. Can someone just get used to glory? Can someone say glory, 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 glory? Hallelujah. I remember once, someone, can you just prophesy right now? My future is in God's past. My future is in God's past. 
Rakasta, Rebroko Sekete Mahandaya. Has the Lord ever asked you to tithe on a problem? The Lord has had me two times tithe on a future problem. I did not know that I was tithing on a, a future problem. God says, tithe on that problem. And when the issue came, the issue was really either <laughs> I tithed on the problem. Someone say, I am tithing on the future issues. What that means is when those issues come, the enemy cannot get you because you already tithe. You came out every 6 a.m. You spent an hour at the altar of remembrance and settlement. The issue is settled and the enemy cannot call it back. Hallelujah. So the Lord asked me to study seven words, that that, that seven Hebrew words, you know, that, that express praise. And so we came in on the first day and we came in at the Toda level. And the Toda level is when you come with all your words, with world issues, you come the Toda level, T-O-W-D-A-H, and you come and you can't even bless the Lord. It's a bless the Lord. Oh, I bless you, Lord. I bless Because all the issues are there. And from there, you go on, you know, to the Yada level. And Yada level is you can you know, you can feel his presence. Your hands are not really that up. You can still remember the bills. You can remember the sickness. You can remember the accusation. You can remember the betrayals. You can remember the conspiracies. They're all in your mind and you are coming and you're coming before the Lord. And then, oh, you, you feel his presence. The halal, that's the halal level. You say, hallelujah. Can somebody begin to shout hallelujah? We have three minutes to wrap up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, halal level, hallelujah. And from hallelujah, hallelujah, your heart is coming alive, awakening. And then you go into the Zama level. Zama is a word that speaks of the instrument, the string instruments. Your heart begins to make music unto the Lord. And from Zama level, Kira Masika, you begin to remember who he is. Is someone grateful. And from that Zama level, Kira Basakara, you come into Barak. Barak is when your knees, I want to cry right now, tears of joy. I just really thank God for these 31 days. Tears of joy. I'm Barak, your knees begin to bow and you remember that at the name of Jesus every knee must bow. There has been so much God has done and I want to thank every one of you and I want to see you at that altar of um the altar of nations praying project 720 for nigeria we're going to be praying for saturdays please just find me on social media because i'm very emotional now okay so you come in you know to that you know um you come into the barack level where your knee bows and you know god has answered you from the barack level you come into tehila tehila is the is the word that describes the the worship that the tongue can utter and from tehila you go to shabak shabak is a shout of the lord can some Someone shout right now can someone shout give a shout uh -huh. give a shout unto the lord of victory hallelujah we made it 31 days uh, 31 days if you are on facebook hit share if you're on instagram please don't just like leave a comment hallelujah they broke us because comments activate something let's be in torture because I, every end is a beginning let's go you want to hear about project 722 is good. 720 is going to blow your mind marika sikara please find it on name apostolic resource center page my page we're just gonna share listen the earth belongs to our father he never belonged to the devil i said look from toda we came on the first and now we're ending on the 31st with a shabbat Shabaka, Shabaka, Lebroko is a level where there is no language, there is no words to thank God. You can only shout, yeah! You, you can only shout, Kalaba Sukata. Yeah! Someone give a shout, Mareke Sikata, for your bloodline, four generations, and for what you gain for four generations in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The book of Psalms collectively is called Tehillim, Tehillim. Tehila is the highest level of praise uh, the tongue can give to God. From Tehila, you go to Shabbat. It wasn't a dark, a dark season in my life. And God said, you give me, study seven, seven Hebrew words uh, that uh, show you my intention, my plan, Malaka, and my framework for man. I'm just so emotional. Malaka, someone just begin to thank God for generational blessings. Uh, I release to you Lebro kosekete mahandaya, lebro kosekete in agreement, lebro kosekete a victorious future in agreement. Malebo sokoto, our future as sons of the living God is the day of God's power. We are willing, we are willing, we are willing, 
we are willing. Remember, those that you owe are going to release you speedily. And those who owe you are going to pay you speedily. Money is going to be your new normal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, you take communion at home. You take communion at home, okay? We come into agreement. Remember Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, Kali Basukara, on that day, he took up the bread. And he said, he said, this is my body broken for you. Can we just, you know, can we, where's my emblem? Can we just please? Yeah, this is my, and make this a culture. Since March, my family and I, we have taken communion daily. When we uh, say amen to the broadcast, we go back and we take communion. So on that day, Jesus took up, said, this is my body broken for you, uh, broken for you. Say, so eat in remembrance of me. That's an instruction. It's an instruction. It's an ordinance. It says, eat in remembrance of me. He took up the cup and said, this is the cup. This is the cup of the new covenant that is in my blood. Drink in remembrance of me. This is a communion table. A communion table is the Lord's table. It's a family table. Our future is stated in Micah chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. And Isaiah, can we eat and drink together? Set up a culture of communion throughout 2020 if you can. Set up a, you know, bring, come into the culture of communion. We eat, we drink. I come into agreement with you that wholeness, shalom is your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone. And see you online at 6 p.m. See you from the 1st to the 30th at the altar of Project 720. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.